गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम हियर फॉर द क्लास टेंथ पोइम नंबर वन द डस्ट ऑफ स्नो पोइट रॉबर्ट फ्रॉस्ट वेरी विविडली एक्सप्रेस थ्रू यूज पोइम द फीलिंग फॉर नेगेटिव एस्पेक्ट्स कैन बी पॉजिटिव इफ यू हैव एन एटीट्यूड टूवर्ड्स देम पॉजिटिव स्टैंड हेमलॉक ट्री crow which are generally known by the people as full of negativity full of discarding discardness towards them but robert frost very vividly very lovingly expressed his opinion about both of the objects poet says the way a crow shook down on me what a poet was very upset he was sitting dull sad bada dukhi hokar bada udaas se ek din baitha hua tha achanak ek crow ne ek ped known as hemlock the ture ka ped ke upar se the snow of dust uh, the dust of snow जो बर्फ की धूल जमी थी उसे हिला दिया द क्रो शूक द ट्री एंड डस्ट ऑफ स्नो फेल ऑन द ट्री हु वॉज वेरी अपसेट एंड द डस्ट ऑफ स्नो फ्रॉम ए हेमलॉक ट्री हैज गिवन माय हार्ट दैट डस्ट ऑफ स्नो गेव एन चेंज इन माय हार्ट गेव चेंज टू माय मूड एंड सेव्ड सम पार्ट ऑफ द डे आई एड रूड poet feels that he was so sad that he did not have any happiness optimism in the mind at the time but both two objects both objects which are known for their negativity crow never loves uh, likes by anyone a crow never liked by anyone and hemlock uh, hemlock tree is not loved by anyone but when the poet was upset or is sad full of depression and got the dust of snow which was shaken by the crow from the hemlock tree made him different away from his sadness away from his uh depression ultimately poet want to say here there is nothing to be hate in the world because your hate is the reason of your depression if you want to live happily feel for everything feel for every living being respectful lovable towards them and care for them to the second poem the same poet robert frost expresses what the reason of the world's doom destruction of the world can be dear students here the poet says fire and ice fire even the scriptures the holy books also predict it declares it that the world can destroy because of either the fire or the ice but robert frost expresses his opinion in a very different mood what the reason of the fire can be what the reason of ice can be and what the fire and desire according to him fire stands here for desire it stands the world because of the lust towards the money not caring for any religion and that fire that desire to gain more and more becoming the cause of the destruction he says some say the world will end in fire some say in ice as i told that the scriptures maine bataya hamari pavitra granth batate hain ki sansar mein prilay ka karan ya to aag hogi ya pani hoga the poet also agrees and he says 
that either the uh, some of the people say the fire others say the ice will be the cause of destruction of the world from what i have tasted of desire and he says that he has selected that it may be desire it may be fire i hold with those who favor fire and in the first extract he agrees with the people who say the world can destroy because of fire unse sehmat hai wo ki shayad sansar ke nasht hone ka karan aag banegi kyunki uska abhipray aag se ichha ka hai jis tarah se manushya ki ichhaen din pratidin badhti ja rahi hain aur un ichhaon ki poorti ke liye wo na koi rishte nibhata na koi samaj dekhta na prakriti ki parwah karta तो एग्री है इस बात से कि शायद संसार के विनाश का मुख्य कारण आग बनेगी वो इच्छा बनेगी सो द सेकंड एक्सपेक्ट इट इज बट इफ इट हैड टू पेरिस ट्वाइस इफ द वर्ल्ड हैड टू डिस्ट्रॉय ट्वाइस मींस हाफ ऑफ द वर्ल्ड और सम पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इफ रिमेन्स सेफ आउट ऑफ दिस फायर इस आग से अगर कुछ इच्छा बच जाता है और अर्थात पृथ्वी का अगर दो बार विनाश होना है so i think i know enough of it he says i am agree it will be just hate the feeling of hatred to the other dusre logo se jo nafrat hum karte hain us nafrat ko us nafrat ke karan fir sansar ki prilay dusre number par ice ke karan hogi to say that for destruction ice is also great and hate means coldness berukhi That is ice. जिस तरह से बर्फ जमी हुई होती है doesn't mind that uh, a man wants to drink it the same way. Hate does not care for the feelings of others. The poet agrees. Then in such case, I think ice would be suffice sufficient. must be the reason of the second time destruction of the world be ice to through those uh, these both poems written by robert frost to first you learn that nothing here in the world to be hated by us and through the second poem you learn that what the causes of the world destruction can be the present moment is the live example china just to earn more and more to be the more powerful become the cause of coronavirus america try to show its supremacy so its ruling power and right now unable to save the life of its own people so dear student robert frost ultimately wants to teach us love to the humanity love to the nature do not hate to anything i hope you must get complete idea of both of the poems still if you have any problem any query i welcome you on our mail address dk sharma yas triple one at the rate gmail.com have a nice day